Okay. So in yesterday's class, we have done directory submission, isn't it? And how can we do directory submission, Pavitra? What are the three ways? Uh, it's free and reciprocal and money. These yeah. are three ways. Free, reciprocal and money. What exactly is a backlink, Lakshmi? I know internal link that is giving a link to yourself. Outbound is you are giving a link to someone. Then what is the back link? I will receive the link. Is the opposite of <laughs> outbound link. Exactly. The opposite of outbound link is known as a back link. That means you are giving a link to someone. For you, it is an outbound link. But for that someone, it is a back link. When I am receiving a link from you guys, it will be a back link from me. When I am giving a link to you guys, it will be a backlink for you. So just the opposite of outbound link is known as a backlink. Then we have performed directory submission in yesterday's class. Now in today's class, let us start one more technique that is, Asanji, please mute yourself. In today's class, let us start one more technique that is block commenting. What exactly is block commenting? Now everybody has written a blog, you guys have written a blog. So let me open some blog of yours. Now, generally, let's assume I am a user who read your blog, normal user who read your blog. Then I liked your content, whatever the content you have written, I like that content. So in case I like this content, what I will be doing, I will just give a comment, right? Generally, few people like to give comments, like good blog, like they just praise you. So what I will be doing over here, Let's assume I like this blog, then I will be commenting something like very good blog, interesting blog, something like that. Then they are asking me my name, my email ID and my website. See, just open your blogs, guys. I mean, not now, but later. Once you open your blogs, at the bottom of your blogs, this comment section will be there. In case someone wants to comment on your blog, they can easily comment. So, this is my comment. In case you want to write something extra, you can write it over here. Then they are asking my name, my email address, they are asking, and then website. Now, generally, what I will be doing? Generally, in the place of name, obviously, I'll be giving my name. Then in the place of email address, I will be putting my email address over here. In case I have a website, I will mention my website URL. In case I don't have any website, I'll just keep it as it is. Because not everybody who visit your blog will have a website, right? So this is how I will click on post comment, and my comment will be uploaded on uh, Lakshmi's website, right? This is how a normal person will comment on a blog. But in case you want a backlink, why are we performing blog commenting? Because we want a backlink. I don't want to praise someone just like that. If I'm commenting also, there is some benefit for me. That is the reason only I'm going to some other people blog and commenting over here, not just to praise them. So in case I want a backlink, what do you need to do over here is, okay, comment whatever you would like to comment, whatever you would like to praise them, just praise it. Very interesting blog, something like this, comment. Now in the place of name, what you do is, your website you guys have, and your website, someone's website is interior designing, one person website is marketing, someone's is sports website. So according to your website, Choose any of the keyword which tells about your website. Now, my website is a marketing website. So what I'll be doing, I'll be taking a keyword called digital marketing. So what I'm doing, in the place of my name, I'm adding some keyword over here regarding my website. Then email address. And then there is one more option called website. So here, what I will be doing is, I will take, I mean, for whichever website I want a backlink, I will take that website URL. Now, I want a backlink for my website. So, I will take my website URL and I'll come back over here and paste it over here. So, in the place of my name, I have given a keyword from my website. Then email address. Then here, I'm giving some website URL because I want a backlink for this website. Now, again, click on post comment. Just see what happens over here. Now, like a normal user, I'm posting this comment. And once this comment gets posted, just observe the process, guys. If I click on my name over here, nothing will happen because I have not given my website URL over there, right? But here, in the place of name, I have given a keyword. And in the place of website, I have mentioned my website URL. 
Now, when someone clicks on digital marketing, they will be redirected to our website for which we have given a backlink. So what is happening over here? I am not depending on others to get a backlink, isn't it? I am only giving a backlink to my own website. That is the reason of page techniques are there because all the time you cannot depend on others. Not everybody will be giving us a backlink. So you have to find ways to get a backlink by yourself for your own website. So now what is happening? The moment I click on digital marketing, it is redirected to ODMT website. So don't you think it is a link? It is clickable, right? So it is a link. So from Lakshmi's website, I am giving a backlink to my own website. Instead of asking for Lakshmi to give me a backlink, I am only giving a backlink by myself. This is known as blog commenting. But there is one clause over here. It's not that easy. Block commenting, there are 50-50 chances over here, guys. You might get a backlink. You might not get a backlink. But there are very good chances for you to get a backlink from block commenting. Now, okay, we have given a link. We have selected a keyword. We have mentioned website URL. Everything we have done, we have posted our comment. Done. But still, it will not be considered as a backlink because there is a clause, as I said. Unless and until the website owner approves my comment. Now, see, your comment is awaiting moderation. Unless and until Lakshmi accepts my comment, unless, unless and until she approves my comment, it will not be considered as a backlink. So how should Lakshmi approve my comment? Obviously, she needs to log into her website. And once you log into your website, there is an option called comments, guys. If you guys have observed, I think you have already observed that. Yes, Just go to the, below the post. Below exactly. The post. And once you click on comment, you will be seeing there who all have commented their uh, comments. You guys will be finding over there. There you need to approve it. Now see here comments, just below pages, there is an option called comments, go to the comments and then here whoever has commented their blogs, you'll be able to see it over here. See now I need to click on approve button. That means Lakshmi needs to click on approve button. And the moment she has approved my comment, now whatever I have commented, that will be considered as a backlink. This is how you need to perform blog commenting. You are commenting on someone else's blog by giving a backlink to yourself. But don't forget the main point. Unless and until they approve your comment, it will not be considered as a backlink. The moment they have approved your comment, it will be considered as a backlink. And one more thing over here, guys. Don't think when someone clicks on that, then only it will considered as a backlink. No, even if someone does not click, it is still considered as a backlink. Now, I have already given a backlink to ODMT. Someone clicking, not clicking, that is none of our business. Our main point is to give a backlink to ourselves. That's it. We Are we doing that? Yes, we are doing that. Now, don't think about will people click over here? Will people don't click over here? That is, that is up to their understanding. If they want to click, they will click. If they do not want to click, they are not going to click. Don't worry about that part. Yes. Now, this is how you need to give a backlink to your own website by commenting on someone else's blog. Is it clear, Pavitra? Yes, ma'am. Asanji? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, there is one more way. Guys. This is second way in blog commenting itself. First way is very easy. You are commenting something, keyword, then your website URL. Now, this is WordPress website, isn't it? Lakshmi's website is a WordPress website because I have given you all WordPress subdomains itself. Now, let's assume someone says some XYZ person's website is an HTML website or any other kind of a website. In HTML websites, only comment box will be there. This name, email, website, these kind of options might not be there. You might have observed a number of times, like whenever you are reading blog, sometimes this names, email and website option will not be there. Then how can you give a backlink? Without these things, without this website, I cannot give a backlink to myself, right? Here it is there. That is the reason easily I have given a backlink to my own website. But in few of the websites, that means in case you search on Google and all blog commenting sites, they might not have these three things. Then what you will do at that point of time? 
when these options are not there for you to give a backlink to your website directly, you have to use a code over here. And that code is href equals to quotations, your website URL, that means for whichever website you want to backlink, take that website, then paste that website over here, then close it guys. Opening bracket, close brackets, and in quotations, your website URL for which you want to backlink. Then here I want to comment, right? I should comment something. I cannot just type a code on someone's website like this. I have to comment something. So I will be telling, some beautiful blog or something like that. This is my comment. Sorry. Beautiful blog. Okay. Then again, close it like this. Here you have to mention the keyword. That means here it is blog comment and that is the reason I'm mentioning my comment. But generally here keyword should be there. And your ahref is equals to your website URL for which you need a backlink. Then your keyword. And because this is a block commenting, I'm commenting over here, then close it. This is how you need to comment. Now, I'm not using any of these three things, guys. Nothing. I'm not using anything. I'm just clicking on post comment. Now, see what happens. What is happening over here? Beautiful blog is appearing. And when someone clicks on this beautiful blog, Okay, I have logged into the website. That is the reason Lakshmi is appearing. Let me go. See guys, just observe this point. Whatever the code we have written, is the code appearing? Was the code appearing to us over there? No, right? Only whatever I have commented, that part is only appearing to me over there. So whatever the code you have written, that will not appear to your users. Whatever the comment you have written in the brackets, in that code, whatever comment you have written, that comment is only going to appear to your users. So when someone clicks on that comment, what is happening? It will be redirected to ODMP website, isn't it? Same thing is happening, right? Before also the same thing, but that was a little bit easier. And here you need to use the code. Just remember this code, I'm writing it over here in case you want to note down, please note down. Ahref equals to Give space over here. Please give space after equals to. Then quotations. Your website URL. I'm just writing the format. Your website URL. Then close quotations and close the bracket. And now you need to enter the keyword or a comment or whatever it is. You have to enter the keyword. Then close the brackets. Whatever the code you are writing, that code will not be visible to your users or any other person. Whatever you are inserting in the keyword place, that is only going to be visible to your users. And when someone clicks on that keyword, it will be redirected to the website, whichever URL you are mentioning over here. This is also one of the way to do blog commenting. That is, this is also one of the way I'm getting a backlink to my own website. When someone clicks over here, they will be redirected to ODMP. They need, need not click over there. But did I give a link to my website? Yes, I have given a link to my own website. But again, here also the same clause, guys. Uh, Lakshmi should approve my comment. Unless and until she approves my comment, it will not be considered as a backlink. Now, let's assume yours is a marketing website. Don't go into some uh, jewelry website and comment on the blogs. That is not correct. You have to go into those kind of websites and do it. All right, just remember this point. This is how you need to perform blog commenting, giving a backlink to your own website by, with the help of yourself itself. You're not taking someone's help, uh, else help. The only thing is they need to approve your comment. Is it clear, guys, Asanji, blog commenting? Yes, ma'am. But you said we, we, we have to go to uh, another website that has to do with... Uh, same niche. Yes. Yes. Correct. Don't go to some, see, your uh, website is marketing website. You are going into some sports website and commenting on their blog and giving a backlink to yourself. Uh, don't try to do that. I, 
use some knowledge providing websites because generally blogs will be there in those kind of websites itself right so when someone is talking regarding your niche go over there and try to give a back end to yourself but there are 50 50 chances only guys don't think 100% you'll get a back end from blog commenting someone who owns a website obviously then they will know these techniques they will understand that people are trying to give a back end so they might not approve your blogs if someone is new to all these things then they might feel happy and then they might approve your blog so there are 50 50 chances over here is it clear pavitra and lakshmi yes ma'am lakshmi is it clear yes ma'am no okay. i mean is there any meaning of href h that is not is there any long form of that no actually that is a code okay generally a is known as anchor text and all this whatever this thing is there it is known as anchor text and okay. uh, this is known as anchor link complete thing mm-hmm. in case there is some just try to search if there is some uh, full form for that but i think is that is not important let us move on to third technique which is web 2.0 what are web 2.0 sites web 2.0 sites are nothing but these are free websites guys these are free websites please concentrate free websites why are these free websites now generally in case you want to purchase oh sorry let's assume you guys want to create a website how will you guys create a website from scratch from scratch now you want to create a website for your own business what will you do the first thing directly you'll create a website or you will do something you will purchase something first yeah we purchase domain first domain yeah. and hosting domain and hosting you will purchase from any of the domain uh, name provider then you will connect them then wordpress installation then you will be creating your website there we are paying money right for domain some xyz amount for uh, hosting some xyz amount then one year registration two year registration and so on we are paying money over there then we are creating our websites but whereas web 2.0 sites are free websites you need not purchase them anywhere without purchasing also you will be able to create the websites then you might get a doubt that why should we purchase domain and hosting see web 2.0 sites are very very basic websites you can't do much with these websites very very basic very very basic like maybe you will be able to write blog or maybe you will be able to create one or one page or something like that very basic websites is that and there are so many platforms which provides you these web 2.0 sites even wordpress provides web 2.0 sites you might think wordpress only provides this paid websites no even wordpress provides web 2.0 sites free websites you can create with wordpress uh, blogger blogger will also provide free websites wix will provide free websites so there are so many platforms which provide you this free web 2.0 sites now what is the difference between our website that website which you guys have purchased like let's say you what is the difference between karnoltaxi.com and a web 2.0 site now in case you guys you guys are purchasing a domain let's say you from godaddy or bluehost what kind of domain you guys will be purchasing like asanji.com or pavitra.in this kind of domains you guys will be purchasing right now in case you are creating a free website in case you are not purchasing your domain and in case you are using this web 2.0 sites to create a website your name will not be in this format your name is not going to be, your domain is not going to be in this format let's assume asanji has uh, created a free website in wix then it will be like asanji.wix.com let's assume lakshmi has created a uh, free website in blogger then it will be lakshmi.blogspot.com or blogger.com it is going to be like that so just understand the domains over here guys here you have the liberty to choose whichever extension you want .com .in and your domain 
But here, in which platform you are creating a free website, that platform name will be included in the domain. If Lakshmi is creating in the blogger, then blogger name will be there. If Asani is creating in Wix, then Wix will be there. If Pavitra is creating a free website from WordPress, then pavitra.wordpress.com. It is going to be in that format. That is the difference between Web 2.0 sites and our generally the sites which we purchase. And one more difference is, See, let's assume you guys have purchased a domain maybe one month ago. Then what will be the age of Asanchi.com? It will be one month old, right? Again, the age of Pavitra.in also will be again one month old because you guys have purchased in the past month. But let's assume Lakshmi is creating her website in Blogspot today itself. In Blogger today itself, she is creating. That is Lakshmi.blogspot.com or Lakshmi.wix.com. She is creating a web 2.0 site that is a free website in these platforms. Then what will be the age of Lakshmi? Yes, what will be the age of Lakshmi if she is creating a, a free web 2.0 site? Today only she is creating. I mean, let's assume yesterday she has created. Then is it one day old? Yes, guys. Will it be one day old? Yes, ma'am. That is wrong. It will not be one day old website. These Wix, Blogger, WordPress, these all platforms are some 20, 25 year old platforms. You are not creating a separate website like SNG.com or Pavitra.in. You are using those platforms and in that platform you are creating one website, one free website. So whatever is the age of Wix, let's assume the age of Wix is some 20 year old website. Then the age of Asanji.wix.com also will be some 20 year old only. Even if Asanji is creating his website today, that is free website I'm talking about. Even if he's creating Asanji.wix.com today, still it will be some 20 year old website itself. Even if Lakshmi is creating a website, free website today, still it will be some 15 to 20 year old website. That is the difference between our normal websites and web 2.0 sites, free websites. Don't think these websites are new websites. These are already created websites, Wix, Blogspot, WordPress, and all. In that, you are going and you are doing something. So the age of your website also will remain the same. It's not like a normal domain. Now coming to what is the point of web 2.0 sites? Why exactly I'm telling about web 2.0 sites over here? What you can do over here is, why are we learning all these things to give a backlink to our website? In case you want to give a backlink to your own website, we are learning these techniques. Now, what I will be doing is, I will be going into any of these platforms like Wix or Blogspot or uh, WordPress. Then what I will be doing, I will be creating some website. Then I will write some content. Let's assume some blog I'm going to write. Then I will choose some word and I will give a backlink to my own website. So from my free website, from my free website, I'm giving a backlink to my original website. Isn't it? We can do that, right? We can do that. Don't you think we can do that, guys? Let's assume I'll be, uh, I'm going to create one free website in Blogger. And I will write a blog in Blogger that is uh, lakshmi.blogspot.com. In this website, I'm going to write a blog. Then what I will be doing? Once I write a blog, I will choose some word and I will link it to this main website of mine. Then what is happening? From my free website, I'm giving a link to my own website. That is, I'm giving a backlink to my own website. We can do that, right? Did you understand what did I say? Did you understand what did I say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we can do that. So how to do that? For that, first, you need to create your website, isn't it? For that, first, you need to create your free WordPress, sorry, free WordPress website or free Wix website or free Blogspot website. So again, as I told you in yesterday's class, just visit material.odmt.in in case you want to read about what exactly is Web 2.0 sites and all. Then all the Web 2.0 sites are listed. What exactly is Web 2.0 site? Even that you will be able to learn over here. Just search web 2.0 sites and here you can see again 100 uh, with high DA and PA you need not check on Google uh, what is high you know in case you're doing your own research and creating uh, doing off page techniques then please check DA and PA if you're taking the help of material.odmt.in then you need not check it so you can see it over here guys web 2.0 sites are 
completely free completely free see your blog or website will receive high quality incoming link or referral or referral visitors creating black backlinks is one of the most effective techniques to improve your search engine results all these things you can see then how to get web 2.0 backlinks also you are able to see what did i tell you select a website that means wordpress or blogger or wix whatever it is you have to select it then you have to create your free website free account in the sense you have to create your free website then produce content that means obviously you have to write some content then only you'll be able to give a link otherwise how will you choose give a link so write some content whether it is blog or whatever it is then choose some word like this then obviously that link button will be there you have to take your website url mention it over there then link it to your website and publish it so whatever i have told the same steps are written it over here there you can see all the wordpress sites that is web 2.0 sites are also listed over here wordpress blogger tumblr all these things are listed over here whichever you would like to choose choose it create a free website over there write content give a backlink now let's assume uh, i want to create a free blogger account that is free website in blogger then i'm opening blogger all right now this is my blogger account i already have the blogger account that is the reason you guys are able to see it like this but generally when you guys are creating for the first time when you guys are clicking on blogger over here what will appear is they will ask you choose a name for your blog that means in case you want to write about tourist places tourist let's assume i want to write a blog about tourist places in hyderabad then i'm mentioning my title of the blog afterwards you need to click on next button this is what they will ask you directly guys once you click on blogger.com or in case you are going on chrome and even in case you are searching blogger like this first thing which is going to appear to you guys is this part whatever the background is there that will not appear this part is going to appear to you guys now they are asking you to first create your account obviously you have to create your free website first right then you have to produce the content in that website so what did i tell you by default it will be blogspot.com if it is wix then by default it will be .wix.com if it is some wordpress then by default it will be .wordpress.com this is not going to change you will not be able to change this then you have to give your name or whatever the names you would like to take just give it and search so you can see that this blog address is not available that means asanjay.blogspot.com is already taken by someone else then again add something to your name and search if it is available it's okay if it's not available just add something like digital or something like that then click on save button just create your blogger account first whether it is blogger whatever it is create your account just mention your name then dot blogspot.com dot wix.com then click on save button once you have clicked on save button this is the interface you guys will be able to see it then what did i tell you in the blogger you have to write some blogs just click on new post over here and the moment you click on new post you have to give some title and some description the first thing is you have to create your free account i already told you how to create your free account pavitra dot blogspot.com then click on save your account will be created then click on new post and give some title over here let's assume you want to write about some tourist places in okay let's assume this is my title of the blog then i have to give some description also as of now i'm taking some content from here itself actually you can write this kind of blogs over there you can add images all these things you will be able to do but as of now i'm not doing i'm just taking some random content let's assume this is our blog in case bold italics all these things are there please paste it to the notepad otherwise directly spin bot it as of now i'm not spinboarding it guys but you guys spinboard it 
then i'm pasting the content over here you have you can add the images also you can add videos you can add emojis all these things whatever you have done in normal website you can do it over here also just do all those things in case you want to add a images and all after that the main concept see you guys know how to add content guys i'm not going into that how to add content adding images we have already done that in blogging now the, the main concept is backlink so from my free website, I'm going to give a backlink to my original website. Now let's say you, I want to give a backlink to Lakshmi's website. To this blog, I want to give a backlink or to the homepage, I would like to give a backlink. Not only to the homepage guys, to any page you can give a backlink to about us page, to the post, wherever you would like to give a backlink, you can just give a back. Now I'm taking the complete URL of this blog. Then what I will be doing over here is, I will choose some word over here. Let's assume I'm choosing this word as this Karnataka word. Then there is a link option over here, right? So click on link and whatever the link you have taken, let's assume this is your own website. Take this website URL and paste it over here. That's it. And click on apply. Now what is happening? This is my free website. I did not spend any rupee one, not even one rupee I have spent to create this website. So from my free website, I'm giving a backlink to my original website. Did I give a backlink to my original website? Yes, I have given a backlink to my original website. So generally we use Web 2.0 sites to give a backlink to our original websites. Is it clear how to do Web 2.0? How to give a backlink to your original website with the help of a free website? Any doubts in this part, guys? No, no. Pavitra? How many? Yes, ma'am. Clear, ma'am. Okay. What is Sanji? Ma'am, uh, how many backlinks can I can I give in my new website? You have to. Website? You have to give so many backlinks. There okay, is no such guess. thing. There is no such thing that like one backlink, ten backlinks, thousands of backlinks. If you get also, that is good thing. Google gives reference to backlinks. You have to give as many backlinks as possible. That's why there are so many techniques. From all these techniques, you need to try to give backlink to your own website. Um, is... I mean, I mean, like in the like in my Wix website, mm -hmm. that yeah, how many of such a URL for my original website can I insert in a particular? You see, that does not mean just because I'm asking you to give a backlink. Now, don't choose every word and give a link to your own website. That is not the right way. Okay. I understood your question, Asant. You want you are asking how many backlinks should I give from here? No. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Don't do like that. You have given one backlink, one out. According to the content, it should be there. See, again, it is an outbound link over here, right? If for you, it is an outbound link itself. Yes, from the ma main website point of view, it is a backlink. But from this website, it is again an outbound link itself. So outbound links also, we have already learned in on page how many outbound links and how many internal links you should give. It depends on your content. If you are writing only two paragraphs and you are giving 10 outbound links, that does not make sense. Accordingly, you have to give that always depends on your content itself, which I have already told you on page. Let's assume you're writing some five lengthy paragraphs and you can give some three internal links and two outbound links, something like that. So it always depends on the content. There is no such number. It depends on your content, how much content you're writing. Let's assume you're writing some 4,000 words. Then you can give uh, how many backlinks you want. You can give those many backlinks. You visit Wikipedia. And just observe, there are so many links. Wikipedia is filled with links, internal links and outbound links because their content is also quite lengthy. You know? According to content, it depends. You are writing one paragraph, giving 10 internals, 10 outbound. That is not the right way. It always depends on your content itself. Is it clear? Understood, yeah. ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, where these blocks is up here, ma'am? These blocks? Yes, ma'am. These blocks? No, it it is not appear in Google. It depends on how good title you are giving and how good description you are giving. Sometimes they might appear, but you can't expect a great results from this, uh, Lakshmi. It again depends on the title and then on the description you are giving, how good keywords you are using. On that only it depends. Like you can't expect these blogs to, I mean, 
sometimes they will appear because again blogger is also a website google visits this website also for crawling indexing and all are you understanding my point yes, still this yes, is also yes. a website even if we are not submitting this website still google will be visiting this website to crawl indexing so at that point of time if you are giving very good title very good descriptions inserting very good keywords images and everything then yes there is a chance that when someone is searching with those keywords there is a chance that this like this blog also might appear on google but most of the people will not concentrate on uh, all those things in this kind of free websites right that is the reason you guys will not see these websites much on google i am not telling 100% you will not see you get you guys will be seeing these websites but very few results very few web 2.0 sites will appear on scrp it again depends on how good you are giving title and description and all the content images keywords and all. hello ma'am yes sir sanjay do we do we do uh seo for this kind no. of websites not required not required don't assume uh, don't think to create your uh, professional website or a business website with web 2.0 sites don't do that always uh, spend money and then purchase domain and hosting and then create your own websites very you know just for practice purpose and all you can use this free web 2.0 sites but there is no such great benefit with these websites guys the one of the major disadvantages in the name itself generally this is only little bit difficult to remember right so someone remembering your website name is a very big thing and in that wix is there blogspot is there something else is there it is very difficult to remember so don't try to create web 2.0 sites like complete professional website don't try to create in web 2.0 sites yes additionally for this kind of purposes like for backlinks and all in case you want to add some content and pass it to someone else let's assume you guys also own a some training institute and you want to provide some information to your students and all you don't have any other sub domain then what you can do you can just take the help of these kind of free websites and whatever the content you would like to add just add it over here and then give it to them so for this kind of additional purposes you can just use it very basic websites very very basic websites that's it ma'am this this site do are they usually free for life or after some time to what i'm asking if this uh, free this free site mm -hmm. are they are they usually given for for life are they once you create a free website mm -hmm. can you use it for life yes i have i'm using the this same website from the past few years like this is not created some yesterday or today from so many years i'm using the same blogger okay. yes you can use it it is free no asanji there is no expiry date over here like our normal domain one year two years nothing like that you can is use as long as you want to use it now let's not waste the time come back to classified submission what exactly is classified submission do you guys know olx pavitra olx yes ma'am what is olx um, we can sell and buy the things okay correct sell and buy the things that means what exactly it is can you explain to asanji asanji do you know olx no right no ma'am okay can you yeah. please explain uh, pavitra yeah we can sell the things uh, what we don't want or uh, example second and cars bikes sofas mm -hmm. anything anything ma'am no. what is the purpose of olx sell and buy if i want to sell if i want to buy something i will go to some store and purchase no why should i visit olx online 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 mean so many pro websites are there amazon mintra so many things are there why olx ma'am second and things also that is what you need to tell no? something you own in case you want to uh understand this over here asanji olx is a platform like amazon itself you can it's not come like amazon but it is something closer to amazon and in olx what happens is let's assume you guy you have you own a tv television and you don't want to use that television anymore you are just happy let's assume you have purchased some other television and you want to sell the television which you already own so 
what you can do is you can go to this platform called OLX. I mean, in India, people do this. I don't know if it is available elsewhere, but yeah. Now, in case you want to sell that television because it is no longer in use, what you can do is you can upload the television pictures in those platform called OLX. And then if someone wants to purchase and if someone is in the need of the same product, they will try to contact you. You can mention your phone number, all these things over there, and then they will contact you. They will visit your home and they will take that television and give you money. So you are selling something. And in the same way, let's assume you want to purchase some sofa or any anything, bed or whatever it is. Then again, at a cheaper price, let's assume. Again, you can visit OLX. Then there will be like you, like how you are selling television. There will be a number of people who are trying to sell television or uh, sofas or uh, whatever it is. Then in case you liked any of the product by looking at the images and all, you can contact the owner, actual owner of that product. And you can visit their home and you can just look at that product. And in case you want to purchase it, you can just purchase it. So LX is a platform where you will be able to sell and purchase the product a little bit at a cheaper price. That is the reason people use OLX. Now, classified submission concept is the same thing like OLX itself. Whatever we do in OLX, that is known as classified submission. What are we doing in OLX, guys? We are advertising our product, right? We are promoting our product, something I own. Let's assume I want to sell the television which I own. I am promoting that product. That means through an advertisement. It is kind of an advertisement only, right? I am putting some images of my television. Then I am describing about the product. At which price I want to sell. I am mentioning all these things I am mentioning. Then I am giving my phone number. When someone wants to purchase, they will be able to purchase it. So I am advertising my product. The same thing is known as classified submission. In case you guys own an institute in case you guys own a restaurant and you want to promote your restaurant you want to advertise your product then there is something called classified submission if you guys know olx if you guys have used olx i mean i didn't use any time but if you guys have used olx then you already know what exactly is classified submission then again if you want to visit web to, uh, Material.odmt, please visit material.odmt and search for classified submission sites. And all the 100 classified submission sites are listed. And OLX is also one of the site of classified submission. If you search all the 100, somewhere OLX also will be there. See, all these are, uh, see here OLX it is. All these are classified submission sites itself. Now, I don't want to sell any product in OLX. So let us go with click dot and I'm opening this platform, guys. Just observe how to perform classified submission. Just remember one point. Classified submission is equals to ads. Ads in the sense, don't think Google ads or social media ads. Normal advertisement, advertising your product, like same thing like OLX. So here, what you need to do is regarding your business, just create some advertisement. Go to Canva, wherever you would like to create some advertisement, create an image over there. Like so and so discount, whatever it is, just create that ad. Then what you need to do is in this classified submission site, let's assume you are using OLX, then you will upload the pictures of television, isn't it? Unless and until view, people view the picture of your television, they're not going to purchase it. Same like that, whatever your ad you have created, you have to upload in classified submission sites, whether it is OLX or clicked on it or whatever it is. So I have opened click.in over here. I am using click.in. It's up to you. Whatever you would like to use it, you can just use it over there. Then the moment I have opened click.in, just observe what is happening over here. Yeah. This is how click.in appears, guys. Once click dot it appears, they're asking you to post your advertisement. What I told you to remember, classified submission is equals to ads. Just click on post your ad over here because I want to upload my advertisement. I want to upload my images of television. Just think like that. Then which kind of niche are you, are in, you are into? You have to select whether you are into education, whatever it is. Then I'm selecting education over here. In education, I'm selecting professional courses. Then then they are asking me to upload the photo. If it is OLX, what you guys will be doing? Yes, Pavitra, if it is OLX, 
what you guys will be doing over here you will yeah. be uploading we upload the product image same thing okay. exactly correct so here you have to upload your whatever the advertisement you have created that advertisement you can just upload it over here so i'm just taking some random image as of now but you guys go to canva and please create the images over there mm. let's say you i'm uploading this image this is some random image guys then course I'm, i have to select over here because i have selected my category as education they are asking me what course i am providing if it is available choose it if it is not available just click on other then locality see contact us if your locality is not listed if it is not listed they are asking you to contact us see same thing if someone wants to purchase your television or something they should know your uh, locality and all right so they are asking what is the locality or something whatever the locality you like to select select it then again whatever we have done in cloud what is that directory submission the same thing you have to follow over here give some title same thing guys whatever you have done yesterday the same thing you have to repeat i am not telling the same content you have to repeat but uh, same title same description you have to again add it over here that's it this is how you need to perform classified submission tell some description i will add description later then email address and then your phone number because they should contact you right in case they are interested in your product they will contact you on olx so same like that give your phone number over here then enter this code that's it and click on post that this is how you need to perform classified submission let me add some random content over there guys i am adding random content but you have to describe about your business and all please remember this point don't add any random content like me so i have given title i have given description then i have added my photo like this is my advertisement in olx your product image then course locality then landline number not required then security what is missing over here why are we, why are we performing classified submission lakshmi what is the need for us to perform classified submission क्लासीफाइड सबमिशन इज ओनली डन to promote your business just to promote or advertise your products we are using classified submission there is no other use from classified submission don't think you will get a backlink you will not get a backlink just click on post that's it classified submission is done this is how you need to perform classified submission is it clear guys how to perform classified submission is it easy is it easy yes ma'am the same thing now whatever you have done in directory submission the same thing is appear in classified submission also the only thing is there you are not uploading image here you are uploading your advertisement that's it first create your accounts guys in click dot in in everywhere you have to create your account see he is asking me to log in i'm not going to log in now but generally create your account first in click dot in or olx whatever it is first create the account then post it even in document submission image submission video submission everywhere you have to create the accounts in almost all the off page techniques you have to create the account he will ask you to create the account so please create the accounts while you are performing off page techniques all right so this is classified submission and remember this point you want to you have to use for promoting the business one exactly promoting the business not and website Not a website, ma. 
see not website in the sense there is no way for you to give a backlink over there lakshmi otherwise it will be called as a backlink na why am i telling there is no backlink in classified submission because you will not be able to give a backlink over here it is just used for promoting your uh, you can just enter your website name or something like that but it will not be considered as a link it will not be clickable that is what i am telling you it will not be clickable people will not be able to click on that it will look like a normal text now you guys might have get a doubt that okay you are performing classified submission you are adding content description all this thing but where it is going to appear lakshmi has asked the same doubt in uh, web 2.0 site again click dot in is also a site itself it is also a website itself it is also a normal website google will still crawl click dot in it will index the data of click dot in so what google will be doing over here please mute yourself guys so still click dot in is also a website itself google will be crawling the and indexing the data of click dot in that means obviously whatever the content you have added you have added inside click dot in itself so whatever the content you have added that will also be indexed and that will also be crawled by google again the same point if you have given very good title if you have given proper description if you have selected proper categories then there is a chance that your uh then there is a chance that your whatever the content you have added just now that might appear on scrp just see it over here guys i am searching seo training in mahboob nagar and the moment i search seo training in mahboob nagar just observe click dot in is also appearing click dot in is also appearing that means someone might have added the content exactly like how i have added just one minute ago they have given title they have given description they have added advertisement that is image and everything and their content might be really good that when someone is searching with the same keyword which they have added in the title and description their click dot and ad is appearing on scrp so don't think there is no use i'm telling there is use of click dot in how there is a use of click dot in yes you are not getting backlink there there is no use but still it is just like promoting your business you are promoting your business over here how are you promoting your business in case you really had very good content while performing classified submission that content will be ranking on scrp and when someone is searching for the keyword they might have clicked like this how i am clicking and once they click on it they will be able to see what exactly you have added see this is the image they have added we have also added the image and they have selected courses they have selected locality they have given some title and they have added some description also what all we have done the same thing is appearing over here right mobile number is also appearing isn't it the same thing is appearing are you understanding are you guys there yes ma'am is it clear guys are you understanding this part why yes. this result this result was ranking on scrp that means they might have added very good description very good title so when google crawled and indexed click dot in whatever people are searching whenever people are searching with this keyword that particular whatever the classified whatever the off page technique they have done in classified submission their result is ranking on scrp so don't think there is no use of classified submission yes there is use of classified submission you have to add very good title description images course locality everything you have to do properly then there is a chance that for that keyword you might be ranking on scrp even classified submission results will rank on scrp is it clear guys is it clear pavitra asan ji yes ma'am is clear ma'am clear ma'am don't think whatever you are adding in click dot in that will be limited to that website no if you are really performing in a very good way that will rank on scrp also because after all click dot in is also a website itself which will be crawled by google then after click dot in what is time four are done right so Four are not at done, ma'am. Four are done. Four, okay. <laughs> What you thought? Cora. <laughs> <laughs> Cora. 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 C
Quora. Quora is a forum submission. We'll do it later. But again, uh, for classified submission also, you can use Quora. For uh, other things also, you can still use Quora. Like one website can be used for n number of techniques. Image submission, video submission, document submission. We have to do it, but okay. Before that, we will concentrate on some easy technique. It became a little bit hectic, I feel. So QR code generator. What is QR code? What is QR code, guys? It's a unique code for uh, products or services. Sorry, I didn't get you, Avitra. It's a unique unique code for uh, uh, product or uh, services. That means how product. that code will appear? How is that code appearing? In Google Pay, it is in you. QR exactly. code is up here. Exactly. What is QR code, Asanji? Any idea? Mm, not for now, ma'am. Okay. QR code. Do you remember e commerce, Asanji? We have done e commerce billing methods. And yeah. uh, that day, Grace has shown it to you guys, right? She has, uh, yeah. uh, she was uh, trying to purchase a product and she switched on her camera and she has shown it to us right and when someone is uh, scanning that code they will be able to mm -hmm. pay whatever the amount we have given she has scanned some code do you remember that she has i remember mom that code is known as a qr code generally qr code is used to do the payments you want to pay some amount to someone then instead of giving your phone number you can also give some qr code and just by scanning that code they will be able to do that payment to you now, how to generate QR codes? You might have seen QR code many times, but did you guys think how to create these QR codes? Yes, Pavitra. Anytime you guys have explored, Lakshmi, how to create QR codes? No, no ma'am. Ma it's very easy. To create QR code, there is a platform called QR Code Generator. Go into this platform. Now, what I am doing over here, I open this QR code generator tool. Then whichever color you would like to choose, this designing part, just do it yourself, guys. Then they are asking me to enter the URL over here. If it is contact, then contact you can choose, like phone number. But as of now, I want to uh, complete related to our website itself, right? Off page techniques and all. So what I'm doing, I'm taking my website URL. Sorry. I have to take my website URL, whichever website you guys own, just take that website URL like this. And once you have taken your website URL, you need to paste it over here. Just observe the code, guys. How was the code before and how is the code late? Just observe this code. Did you guys observe it properly? Done? Just observe the code. Now I'm pasting the URL. Did the code change? Yes, ma'am. You have to observe it. One more time, I'm going it. Please observe it. The code was like this. Asanji, please observe it. The code was like this. The default one. The moment I'm entering my website URL, the code has changed. Did it change, Asanji? Yes, ma'am. It has changed. It has changed. Now open your Google Lens. You guys, uh, I think Asanji has joined with phone. But uh, Lakshmi and Pavitra, in case you can open and scan it, just try to scan this code. And you guys will be redirected to ODMT website. Use Google Lens, guys. You guys will be automatically redirected to ODMT website. Is it happening? Yes, guys, what is happening? Did you guys scan? Mom, I scanned, mom. It is not appearing. Why it is not appearing? I have also done it. It is appearing to me now. Just scan it. It is happening, Lakshmi. See, even one more time, I'm checking it. It's happening. It is happening, no? I just tried. Two times I have tried just now. 
Pavitra, it is not happening for you also. Ma'am, get it, ma'am. Happening? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So again, you might get a doubt that where is backlink over here? Are we giving backlink anywhere? Are no, we giving? Ma'am. No, no ma'am. The same thing again. With QR code also, you, you will not get a backlink to your own website. Again, QR code is just like promoting your website, guys. All these promoting techniques, promotion techniques are also part of off-page SEO itself. See, not everybody will be remembering our website name, right? Or let's assume your website is a little bit complicated name. That is the reason you have to either go with four to five characters in your domain. But let's assume not everybody will be able to remember our website. And in case you want everyone to remember your website, in case you want lots of traffic, in case you want people to visit your website very often, then what you can do is just send the QR code to them. Download this QR code, send on WhatsApp, email, whatever it is, wherever you want to send them, just send it to them. And whenever they want to visit your website, they can just scan this code. And once they scan this code, automatically they will be visiting your website, even if they do not remember your website name. So QR code, there is no such great use, but yeah, just for promoting of your website and all, you want to send it to so many people, then you can just scan, uh, create your own QR code and send to people, whoever you would like to send to them, just scan it to them. And they need not type the complete website URL like this in case they want to open it. Once they scan the code, they will be redirecting to your website. This is the use of QR code. Here you will not receive any backlink no backlinks from QR code. All right, guys, this was QR code. Is it easy? Yes, ma'am. It's easy, right? QR code? Yes. Very easy. Nowadays, we can see the in my kids' books also, ma'am, in the image part, they uh -huh. give us the QR code. When we have to scan that one, ma'am, it is re redirected to uh, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> it's not? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Uh, for some videos related to studies yeah, and all. It's in first standard, ma'am. In my for first standard family. only, that uh, <laughs> QR code and all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. We'll do a few more techniques, right? Uh, because it will become very hectic for tomorrow otherwise. QR code is done. And one more technique is image submission. Image submission in a sense, by the name itself, you can understand it is related to images. Now, what are image submission sites, guys? Where can you upload images? Tell me. Where can you upload your images, Lakshmi? On Instagram, isn't it? We can upload our images on Instagram, right? Facebook, you can upload. On LinkedIn, you can upload. Wherever you would like to upload your images, you can upload your images over there. So Facebook, Instagram, all these things are image submission sites itself. Even if you go to material.odmt.in and even if you search over there image submission sites, the same websites are going to appear to you. Instagram, Twitter, these sites are only going to appear to you. Now remember one point over here. The most important rule of off-page techniques. Just understand this sentence. Now, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what are these sites known as? These are social media sites, right? Generally, we call them as social media platforms, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Any link from a social media platform is not considered as a backlink. Never ever forget this rule. Very, very important. Any link from a social media platform, any link which you are giving from a social media platform, whether it is Instagram, whether it is Twitter, whatever it is, from a social media platform is not considered, is not considered as a backlink. That means you guys might have observed so many people, generally celebrities and all, they add some images while they are promoting someone else's product. Generally, they do advertisements and all, right? They promote uh, some people's businesses on Instagram and all. 
they will give the link to their website or something in their description so such links are not considered as a backlink because everywhere you can add that link na in story you will add one link in description you will add one link 100 times also you can paste the same link again and again again and again so any link which you are giving from a social media platform is not considered as a backlink understand one point over here if i am performing image submission on instagram and even in case i give a link to my website it will not be considered as a backlink so no backlink same thing for facebook also because facebook is again a social media platform let's assume i am uploading an image on facebook and at the end in the description i am giving a link like in case you guys have any queries then you can just visit this website something like that i am giving a link over there still it will not be considered as a backlink because again the same rule any link from social media platform is not considered as a backlink now there is pinterest you might have known pinterest pinterest is not yet considered as a social media platform pinterest is not yet considered as a social media platform if i am performing the same image submission on pinterest it will be considered as a backlink understand this logic over here don't think from image submission you will not get backlink that is wrong whatever you are thinking that will be wrong then from image submission you can get a backlink if you are not using any of the social media site no pinterest maybe after a few years they might consider it as a social media platform but as of now they are not considering it it's not a social media platform so if i'm sub performing the same image submission on pinterest it will be considered as a backlink as it is not a social media platform if i'm performing the same image submission on twitter or facebook or instagram it will not be considered as a backlink is it clear any doubts in this part very very important guys out of in on off page seo this is a most important rule understand this if you guys have any doubt please do ask me over here no ma'am pavitra uh, repeat this for ma'am pinterest pinterest do you guys know pinterest are you guys aware of pinterest yes ma'am yes ma'am okay Pinterest is not yet considered as a social media platform. Now, Instagram we call it as a social media platform. Facebook we call it as a social media platform. Twitter also again a social media platform. Whereas Pinterest is not yet considered as a social media platform. It is not a social media platform. If you perform image submission, that means you are uploading image on Instagram and giving a link to your website, it will not be considered as a backlink because Instagram is a social media platform. if you are uploading an image on pinterest and if you guys are giving a link to your own website still it will be considered as a backlink because pinterest is non social media platform just understand this sentence never ever forget this line if you remember this line everything will be clear if you are performing the same image submission on pinterest it will be considered as a backlink If you are submit uh, performing the same image submission on a Instagram or a Facebook or Twitter, it will not be considered as a back. Is it clear now? Yes, ma'am. Has anyone any doubts in this part? It's clear, ma'am. Okay. Now again, you can read what exactly is image submission. You need not read about image submission to be honest. Image submission in the sense just uploading the images, guys. Just don't waste your time here. See, upload the image, then add description, title, uh, all these things in case you want to give. you can just give it over here so you can see facebook uh, facebook is also an image submission site but in case you are doing image submission on facebook there is no use to you because it will not be considered as a backlink same thing for twitter same thing for instagram same thing for uh, all this uh, i mean for these things but in case you are using pinterest or in case you are using flickr then these are not at considered as a social media platform so what you can do is you can just go to pinterest because you guys know how to upload images on facebook instagram and all right you guys know it right yes ma'am so i'm not using facebook or in uh, twitter guys because you guys are aware of that let me go to the pinterest itself even pinterest you guys know it but let's learn how to give a backlink from pinterest just open pinterest what happened pinterest is down
Okay, Pinterest is down, guys. From all other things, you will get a, you will not get a backlink. Let us try it tomorrow. As of now, it is down. Let us try it tomorrow then. We'll do it tomorrow, guys, in need submission. All right? Because as of now, the website is temporarily down. So we'll do it tomorrow. Welcome. Okay. So yes. how many things? Hello, ma'am. Yes, Asandi. How about LinkedIn? Okay. First, go to Pinterest. Create your account. Everywhere, I need not repeat this create account account. You have to create your accounts. Once you have created a, an account on Pinterest, go to your profile. And what is Pinterest, guys? Pinterest is nothing but pinning something of your own interest. That means whatever you are interested in, that content you will be pinning. For this, I will tell you one small example. In colleges and on universities, notice board will be there, right? What is the point of notice board? Why people create notice board? What is the use of notice board? What is the use of notice board? Uh, to, to inform something. To inform something important, right? What is yes. important stuff is there. They will just write it on a paper and they will, some board will be there. They will just go, it, go over there and they'll pin it to that board. So pinning something important on a particular board, that is a notice board. Same like that, the same concept of Pinterest is exactly like a notice board. There, paper is there, board is there, and you will take a pin and pin it to that board. Over here, what you will be doing? You have to take some content, whichever you are interested in, and you have to pin it to your Pinterest board. Without notice board, will you guys able to pin some content to that tweet? Let's assume there is no notice board on a wall, only wall is there. Will you guys able to pin something to wall just like that? No, right? Board should be there. Then only you'll be able to pin it to that board. Same like that. First, create your board. First, create your board. How to create your board on Pinterest? Click on plus symbol and then click on board. Don't first create pin, guys. There is first board should be there. Now, then only you'll be able to pin something to that board. So same, the concept of notice board only follow over here also. Click on plus, then click on board over here. The moment you click on board, here you have to give some name for your board. Whatever name you would like to give, just give some. Name for your board. So this is my board name. Let's assume this is my notice board name. Again, I'm telling Go to profile, click on plus symbol, then first create your board so that you'll be able to pin some important content to this board. So I have clicked on board and I have given a name for tourist places in Uttar Karnataka. Then click on create. Now my board has been created. My board has been created. In case you want to pin the content which is provided by Pinterest, you can do it. Otherwise, click on just done over here. Now you can see that this is our board. That means Whatever the notice board will be there in colleges, we have created that notice board. Now, whatever the important information you have, you want to pin it to that board, that information you have to create. How to create that information? Just here, you guys might have observed some plus symbol is there over here. Here, guys, at the bottom, some plus symbol will be available. Click on this plus symbol. See, I'm telling Pinterest, I have selected Pinterest because Pinterest is a little bit difficult. To perform image submission. Everything you guys already know you, you know how to upload it on LinkedIn, Instagram, and all. But Pinterest is a little bit difficult. Just remember this point. Concentrate it. We have created our board called Place Tourist Places in Uttar Karnataka. Now I have to pin something to that board. To pin something, click on pin over here. Board has been created. Now you have to create your pin, right? First board is done. Now you have to create the pin. So click on pin over here. Now See, this is the board which we have created. Then here you have to upload some image, whatever the images you would like to upload, then just upload the images over here. I'm taking some random image, guys. I don't have Uttar Karnataka image with me right now. So let's assume this is our image. Then give some title, whatever the title you would like to give. Just give some title. 
then after that you have to add some content then after that add some content the same process guys whatever you have done till now there we have used digital marketing content here we are using some tourist places content that is the only difference then again don't use bold italics all these things first paste it again take it from the notepad otherwise pin board the content this or that then paste it over here okay i need to reduce some content okay done then in case you want to give the alt text alt text in the sense image alt you guys remember image alt what is image alt pavitra yeah uh, they we can uh, describe uh, not describe we can give keywords keywords for your images so there is an alt text option in case you would like to give some keyword for your image you can just give keyword as of now i have not giving but you guys give the keyword because again pinterest is also a website google is going to crawl pinterest also if you want your result to appear on se app then you have to do all these things then the most important thing take your website url for which website you want a backlink take that website url and add a destination link now did i give a backlink to my own website yes i have given a backlink to my own website by performing image submission in instagram facebook it is very easy you add content directly description will be there and there you can add link for of your website also but the clause is it will not be considered as a backlink here on pinterest it will be considered as a backlink that is the difference that's it then click on save button this is how you need to give a backlink to your own website with the help of pinterest is it clear guys just remember notice board concept first board then pinning something to your board first we have created a board called tourist places in uttar karnataka then we are adding some content to our board that is image title description and also a uh, website url so from pinterest i have given a backlink to my website is it clear image submission yes ma'am yes ma'am that's it uh pavitra if i give a if i am performing image submission yeah on facebook will it uh, will i get a backlink if i am performing image submission on facebook will i get a backlink no ma'am no ma'am no if i am performing image submission on linkedin will i get a backlink yes yes ma'am yes ma'am If I am performing, uh, yeah. If I am performing video submission on YouTube, will it be considered as a backlink? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It is. No, no. Social media. Exactly. Even if you are performing video submission on YouTube, and even if you are giving a link to your website. still it will not be considered as a backlink because youtube is a social media platform is it clear though just understand this rule very yes, important sir. if you understand the rule then everything will be very easy for you all right so tomorrow we will continue with a uh, i have a question ma'am yes sir sanji tell me i wish to ask when we doing image submission on pinterest for example mm. the um, the the image title must it be the same must it be the same as the title of our our website or our no. the, our original niche no it can be anything whatever title you would like to add add it i didn't get any idea that is the reason whatever lakshmi has given i have just selected that title just to copy right. and paste it okay is it clear asanji yes ma'am thank you